Melissa Ford gets messy with Ish. Maybe it was a subconscious effort at protecting my territory. I don't know. Oh, oh. all right. There you go. And I respect that. <laughs> I respect that. I respect that honesty. That'd be fun. We're in there. Sip your little That's right. On a recent episode of the Joe Budden podcast, Melissa Ford crossed the line a little bit to me when she said that she gets territorial over Ish. For those of you that don't know, they recently had an episode of the Patreon where Melissa Ford brought her friend S or something like that. And S was seemingly interested in Antoine Marby, a.k.a. Ish. She was basically lobbing it at Ish like a prime Jason Williams to Christopher Weber. And, you know, it was just like, you know, it looked like they, like, she, he could, you know, like, you know, he could take her to the bathroom and do something, quite honestly. That's the vibe I got from watching the show. And everyone couldn't help but notice how Melissa Ford hated when she brought up that Ish had a wifey, a girl, and, and everybody was like, hey, why would you bring that up in front of her? Well, Joe Budden would see that Patreon on Monday and then come in to the next episode and point out how Melissa Ford was hating. But here's the thing. Melissa Ford said she gets territorial when it comes to Ish. Now, the thing that really needs to be examined here is that She's speeding the narrative again of Ish and Melissa Ford. For those of you that don't remember, remember that nasty Ish and Melissa Ford narrative that many thought the two were actually attracted to each other? And it got so crazy that members of the cast confronted Melissa Ford for the way she carried herself around Ish. Now, I initially thought that Melissa Ford was being painted out to be the bad guy. Like, Joe Budden was the one that launched this narrative. But now, after these comments, I'm like, wait! Melissa Ford is bringing this all on herself. Why is she getting territorial over a man in a relationship? Melissa Ford is being messy! And I wonder if she has what it takes to weather the storm of people who are going to watch this and say... Really, Melissa? You mean it was you this whole time? And I guess Ish's approach to Melissa Ford, the constant negging. Anybody remember that book, The Game, where they developed like this whole process to how to deal with women? You actually insult them, and that's the way that you get them attracted to you. It was called negging. So like, if you see a girl that's very attractive, you say something like, oh, are you a hand model? Because obviously you couldn't be a real model. You know, it's really your hands that are nice. The rest of you ain't. So that's what's negging. And maybe Ish's attempts to shoot at Melissa Ford makes her a little bit interested in Mr. Antoine Marby, a.k.a. I Sell Houses, a.k.a. the leader of the Israelites. But let me know what you think in the comments. Do you feel like I'm making a bigger deal than it needs to be? I don't think I am. I mean, I'm very shocked that Melissa Ford would fit into this narrative that had become very problematic and made Melissa Ford out to look like a total hussy. But maybe Melissa Ford has that pretty girl syndrome where she has to feel entitled to, you know, have all of the attention in the room at all times. Maybe I'm being too much of a psychologist. Maybe I'm getting, engaging in too much Freud, Freudianism. Maybe I'm bugging, but that's what I saw, and I'm curious to see how this goes moving forward. And the episode without Joe Budden seems to be well regarded. The one they did on Patreon, a lot of people enjoyed it, and... Also, there are people who felt like Joe Budden came back and potted better after missing an episode. So who knows? Maybe Joe Budden will be more open to the show doing content without him. He barely misses a show. So we'll see if he makes that, if he builds that into his schedule. Because it seems like Flip is going to be the A mic and then everybody is going to play off of him. It becomes the Flip podcast, essentially. And yes, other people take over the show, but Flip is the one guiding through the conversation but let me know what you think. Are you prepared for a more Joe budden podcast? Do you even want that? Do you feel like, I ain't paid for that crap on the pod. I, you know, I'll pay $25 a month for the Patreon. I want to see Joe there. Or is it okay? Is it a good change of pace? Also, are you prepared for this new Melissa Ford and Ish narrative that Melissa Ford herself created? It's getting nasty. It's getting messy. 
All right, y'all, that's my video for today. Follow me on Instagram, The Stop TV. Follow me on Twitter, The Stop TV. This is Danny from The Stop. Peace.